<laughs> so we got a Texas red-headed Texas centipede, pretty big one, and uh, he's just trying to get away from us. But these guys will actually, if they bite you, they can cause a lot of pain. They can't really kill you unless you're allergic to their venom, but they can cause you a lot of pain for about three days. I know some people that have been bitten by them before, and it's no fun. As you can tell, he's very fast. These guys are like the apex predators of the insect worlds here in West Texas. Incredible animal. He's about to disappear, so we'll uh, we'll get some more, a uh, little bit more video of him and uh, let him go on his way. That's pretty darn cool, though. So Reese Hammock here, this is a striped bark scorpion eating what looks like a cricket. These guys venom is like a bee sting, however if you're allergic to being bees, like an anaphylactic allergic or severe allergic reaction, you should definitely seek medical attention if you get stung by one of these guys. There is a chance that you could have an anaphylactic reaction. Um, these guys are common throughout Texas, uh, probably one of the most common scorpions in Texas. Uh, but I thought it was pretty cool to see this guy munch chowing down on a on a cricket. So right here we have a black neck garter snake. If you look close at him, he's got some scars down his back. And snakes are amazing creatures at healing. They can really take a big hit and uh, and t and still survive. I've seen big go gopher snakes and bull snakes get hit by uh, cars on the road and they still somehow survive and they're fine. Uh, these guys wouldn't take a very hit from a car very well, but snakes are very tough animals. They have to be to survive and be the underdogs that they are. You know, people don't like snakes, and uh, that's why education is key, because education turns fear into respect, and respect turns, uh, turns into understanding and then coexistence. So that's why I'm making these videos to let people know that snakes are not the bad guys. And most of the misunderstood animals in the animal kingdom are just trying to survive just like we are. But he might he's about to dart, so we're gonna let you go and let him go on his way. So here we have a checkered garter snake, the second species of this area in West Texas in Fort Davis. And as you can tell the pattern's a little bit different than the black neck garter snake. He's got those checkered the checkered back. They eat frogs, lizards, and fish, and they're real common in the canyon habitat. They don't get much, they don't get very big, but they're still pretty cool snakes that not a lot of people get to see unless they're really looking for them. So we'll let this guy go on his way, and I uh, hope he has a good life, and we'll see him. Hopefully we'll never see him again. Outside of Marathon, Texas, in West Texas, and we found a Texas horn lizard chilling on the road. Hello. And these guys will squirt blood out of their eye when they feel threatened or have been injured by a dog or something, and something grabs them and, can, and actually hurts them. They will squirt blood out of their eye and to, as a deterrent for predators. These guys are protected. I am on a scientific collecting permit that allows me to f uh, photo and get these guys off the road safely and legally. Um, these guys, the scientific name for this guy is Phrynosoma cornatum, and there's three other species of horn lizards out here, but these guys are probably the most common. But we're gonna let this guy go on his way. As you can tell, he's, oh, he's already going. There he goes, hey buddy, you gonna go? Yep, there, there he goes. goes. See how fast he was? He's scattering. He's out of here. Hey, buddy, get off the road. Hey, go ahead. Go. Go. There you go, bud. Damn pedestrians. As you can tell, 
These guys are very camouflaged, the Texas horn lizards, and they will sit on an ant pile and eat ants for hours and hours. And that's their main diet. Is these harvest or these uh, black ants or red ants that form the mounds and they'll sit on the mounds and eat for hours. Let's see if we can get a better view of him. There he is. Look at that cute little face. We'll let this guy go off the road and uh, hopefully he stays safe. Well, first snake of the night, Mojave rattlesnake, pretty good sized one. Let's see what he's going about to do. He's big actually. Oh, there you go. There you go. Hey, bud. What you doing? Hey, stinking. What you doing, bud? Now he's standing his ground. He's just kind of seeing what I'm doing. Not real sure about me. Well, that is a nice trip to the hospital right there. That's some bad news right there, sir. This snake actually can paralyze and drop a horse within 8 to, eight to 24 hours. That's how strong the neurotoxic venom is of this snake. This snake hit me, I'd have about an hour and a half, maybe an hour to get to the hospital, depending on how much venom he injected. Um, they don't play, they've got a really bad attitude, but they're not aggressive, he's defensive. He's not trying to hurt me, he wants to get, a, get out of harm's way, he doesn't want anything to do with me. That being said, he's not playing. He does not want anything to do with me at all. If I walk over here, behind him, he's going to watch me. Just like I said, he's going to watch me. So we're going to let this guy get off the road and we'll keep cruising and see what we can find. Three Samick here. We've got a Western Diamond back here. We're out west still, but not for long. This is where we're going to conclude our West Texas adventure. And I hope you guys subscribe. And uh, we'll see you now on our next adventure. And we'll catch you later.